we want to construct a push-down automaton that accepts the following, following language. And there are many, many possibilities for a push-down automaton that accepts the same languages. So I only show you one possibility in this video, but there are many more. So first we have a look at the language so that we are sure about what the automaton shall accept. So you have any amount of A in the word. And whatever the amount of A is, uh, you have the double amount of B following them. And the minimal number of A's is zero, so um, and B's two. So you have you can have the empty string in the language. Next I like to give example words so that I can while constructing I can be make sure that the automaton accepts those words. So first the empty string is in the language. And then I take an example word of or oh, let's say three A's and six B's. Five, six. And now, um, well, we can start. We start with the start state, which we always need. And um, we can construct automaton that accept languages by an empty stack or by a final state. And the task doesn't tell us which one to do, so um, I will do both at the same time. So first, um, and now at this moment when we have nothing here, when we didn't read anything, we have the stack that contains the stack bottom symbol. So if we first want to make sure that the automaton accepts epsilon, then I will make a final state and I will create an arc from the start state to the final state where I read nothing, so because I have those epsilon there which uh, it shall accept and we read the, the stack bottom symbol and we put nothing back in and every time you pop something from the stack then it will um, it will be removed, so like this. And if you want to, um, if you want to have a symbol on the stack afterwards, then you have to put in. You have to put in a new up in this arc, and we don't do it, so the stack is empty, and we are in the final state. And um, so, this automaton will only accept epsilon. So, what if we have a longer word? No, now it accepts epsilon. Now we want to make sure that it accepts any a word of any length. And um, first, I want yeah, I want to declare this so start state as a state where I read as many a's as I want to. So I make a loop here. And first, if I read the first a. Then I only have the stack bottom symbol on the stack and I have to read it. And now I don't want to delete it yet, so I want to put it back in there again. And I want to count the number of A's so that I can be sure that the number of B's will have a relation to the number of A's. So I put in an A for every A I read. I put in a big A for every little or small a I read and there are other possibilities how to do it I could even put two a's on the stack and removing one for each b or something and now I decided to do it that way so let's say we read the first a and we took this arc and we put down uh, we removed the we popped the a bottom symbol and we pushed in again the bottom symbol and another A. So at this moment our stack looks like this. So we want to read more A's and then we we add to the loop. Now we want to read A's. 
when we have an A at the top of the stack and we put those A again on the stack and add another one. So then we have exactly as many A, big A's on the stack as we read A's before. So now I can read the next A, then I take this arc and put in another A and then I want to read the third A and I again took this arc here and put in and push an A on the stack. So now we are done with reading A's and I don't really care if there are maybe 10 or 100 A's because now I'm sure that it always will take this arc and put another A on the stack for every A it reads. Now I will want to take care about the B's and there again I have uh, different possibilities. For example, first I want to go into another state because in my idea in this state I want to read all the A's and in, uh, in this state I want to read all the B's. So if I encounter the first B, I take this arc to Q1 and I take um, an, I have a, an A on the stack and if I don't have an A on the stack or maybe just the, um, the bottom symbol then I don't want to I don't want the automaton to take those arc. So now I decide um, if you have a look at this for this A I maybe want to read two B's and I want I decide that I want to have one state for reading the first B and another state for reading the second B and that is for everything. And well another possibility would to push another symbol on the stack for doing um for having the same functionality, but I want to do it that way. So first for this B that I want to read, um I have an A on the stack that is that I put that I pushed because of that A. So for that A I want to read both B's. So for the first B that is this, I don't touch the A, I just put it back in. And then I want to go to another state where I um, take care of the second B. And that is where I want to push, where I finally push the first symbol and don't put it back in there. So again, if you, if I read those A, I put in, I pushed those A on the stack. And for the first B, I don't touch the A, I just pu push it back again. And for the second B, I finally um, pop those A and it, and don't put something in back there. So now when I read both B's, I for the second B I took this arc and removed the, the first A on the stack. So now I have another B to read and this B uh, belongs to that A so again, this is my first B, and I do for this A I have to read both Bs, and for the first one I don't want to touch the first bottom symbol, and that is that's the same as I did before. So now I I add an arc to Q1 where I read a B, and uh, I pop the A from the stack, and I pop it and I push it back onto the stack. So now I can read on. For the B I don't touch the A like I didn't do it for that. Now I'm in Q1 again and for the second B I can take this arc removing that A and now I have the yeah, I have the last group of B's and that is the first one for that I take this arc, don't touching the A 
And for the last one, I take again this arc and deleting the A from the stack. And now we are not done yet because um, we, if we, we want to go to the final state and we want to empty our stack. So I add another arc to our final state where I, again, like here, I read nothing. I pop the stack symbol and I again don't um, push something in again. And that is, yes, like I said, that is one possibility of doing it, but there are many more.